on that phone a little bit, or no? Can you what? Can you allow that? There should be a volume on it. Should be allowed. Yeah, please. Thank you. All right. Okay, Shelly, can you hear us? I can. Okay. So All right. Go ahead, Sue. Okay, then we're going to call this meeting to order, noting public notice of this meeting was posted at the school district office and website. All school, do we have a tape recorder going? No, because Marine's taking the minutes and we have to record the minutes and put them in the formal format. So, oh, you did get one. Okay, sorry. So, Shelly, can you hear Sue speak? Should we put the phone there so that you can hear everybody? Is it on now, Marie? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm calling this meeting to order noting public notice. This meeting was posted at the school district office and website, all school buildings, the Lodi Enterprise, the Portage Daily Register, Lodi City Hall, Lodi Town Hall, the Dane Village Hall and Dane Township Hall, West Point Town Hall, Vienna Town Hall, Lodi Public Library, and mailed to clerks at Arlington, Decorah, and Roxbury Townships. We're going to do a roll call. Um, who's here? Please state your name for the record. Mark Seidler, board member. Bill Beers, board member. Bill Whipper, first board member. Shelly, via phone, you want to introduce yourself? Shelly Beers, Shelly Beers, board member. Sue Miller, school board president, and I have a statement to read from um, Mr. Um, Stephen Ricks. I, it was addressed to me, uh, sent today at 8.30, or yesterday evening at 8.30, 8.03 um, p.m., I'm sorry. I am aware that there is a special board meeting to address and approve the wording of the resolutions to move to referendum on the following issues. Resolution authorizing the school district budget to exceed revenue limit by 1.7 million for five years for non-recurring purposes. Initial resolution number one, authorizing general obligation bonds in the amount not to exceed 22 million. Initial resolution number three, authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed nine million. Resolution providing for referendum election on the questions of the approval of a resolution authorizing the school district budget to exceed revenue limit by 1.7 million for five years for non-recurring purposes and initial resolutions authorizing the issuance of general obligation bonds in the amount not to exceed 31 million. Although I'm unable to attend, be advised that I am, have reviewed all the appropriate documentation and I agree and approve of all that has been presented. And I'm noting that Carl Westfall is not present at this time. Next we have the approval of the agenda. Motion, motion to approve the agenda. Second. Here's Whipper first. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, then we'll have to take it in the order that it was presented because originally we were going to switch things around. So now we have to do the resolutions first. Okay, okay and I'm following what's on the website. Okay. All right. We have public input. The purpose of the citizen input agenda item is for the public to provide comments on any agenda item or to publicly address the Board of Education on items that pertain to school business. The amount of time allotted to each speaker will generally not exceed five minutes per person to allow all people who wish to speak an opportunity to be heard. However, I may modify the time limits at my discretion. If the speaker has questions for the board, they will be duly noted and responses will be provided in an appropriate manner. But the board cannot respond to individual questions or individual comments as part of the public input agenda item. As an additional reminder, the board cannot take action on any item that is brought forth during the public input session or on any item that was not posted on the meeting agenda. Citizen input is an important part of the board meeting agenda and the board appreciates hearing from the community on issues concerning them and our school district. Okay, so the first item is discuss and approve the referendum resolutions. You want to bring up the first resolution yep. so it's on the screen also. Okay. 
Okay, so this is where we um, we, we discuss again, or we no. make we make the motions. We make the okay. And can I have a clarification on how much of the of the resolution do you need? You need to read the to entire the resolution into the record. Excuse me. You need to read the entire resolution into the record. Whoever makes the motion to okay, move I'm, forward. I'm prepared to do that, but I want to know how much it, is it like all three pages? Uh, you have to start with resolution number one, meaning the one to be resolved to do the 1.7 million. Okay. Um, Where is the school board of the school district of Lodi? Colby and Dayton? Not that one. Or in back up. It's the one. Each resolution has to be acted on individually. And then you have to do the overwriting resolution. So that's the bigger one. After you have completed each of the individual ones, so keep backing up, Marie. Yeah, keep backing up. There. Right side, the right one. That's the right one. Okay, but there. the question no, I have is how up. much down? How much? How well, far down? Back. Back. I'm up to the wrong one. No, that's st start on page. That's the correct file. Start on page four. It isn't though, because that's the. Broad one. Oh yes, that's the one. There's individual resolutions, and then there's the broad scope one. So you have to do the before you read, ones. read anything. Can we just discuss at a high level what the three are, and then there. That's no, that's the minutes. Okay. <laughs> I only got two. I'll get it. I promise. Oh, if you, I if you don't be in my mind, in your packet, if you want to pull them out, there's a section that starts with resolution authorizing the school board our district budget to exceed revenue limits by 1.7. That's the first resolution. Right behind it is resolution number two, uh, dealing with uh, 22 million. And then initial resolution, I'm sorry, initial resolution number one with the 22 million, and then there's initial resolution number three. We have three resolutions, but the first one deals just with the revenue override. The second one is initial one, that deals with the that's the one we're looking at. No, yeah. That's the first one you have to act on right here, up on the screen, if you want to look. Yeah. Right? And then the second one deals with the $22 million bonding referendum. And the third one is the $9 million bonding referendum. Then there's a broader one that encompasses everything, meaning resolution providing for referendum and election on the questions. That's the fourth resolution that you have to Okay, but they're not they're not numbered. They're not labeled. I, I, no, they all not. look like I'm reading the same thing. Jerry. They're not. You gotta, I you gotta give me something give you more to go on. You want to show the first one right here. Why don't you do the first one? This is the three resolutions yeah. that you have to act on first. Right. Then there's this one that you have. This to This is the first one. Yep, that's the first right. one. So and right behind it is number two. Number two. Oh, I see. No. I see. Uh, well, all three are on here. All three are on. So they're all small. All three are just so you don't have to read all this stuff. Thank you. So you see more docs. I got look in there. Same thing. So the Thank you. But those three, you have to do those three in order. Then there's the big one that you have to do that sets up the election. Okay. I'm ready to proceed. Okay. okay. Good enough. Thank you. Yep. So I'm ready to proceed with be resolved by the school board of the school district of Lodi, Columbia, and Bain counties, Wisconsin, that the revenues included in the school district budget be authorized to exceed the revenue limits specified in section 121.91 Wisconsin statutes by $1,700,000 per year beginning with the 2017-2018 school year ending with the 2021-2022 school year for non-recurrent purposes consisting of maintaining existing educational programs, repairing and maintaining facilities and grounds, maintaining a current instructional technology program, and retaining and hiring staff. And second. Here's Whipperford. And we got your roll call. Yep. Do I ask for discussion or? No. It's, it's a resolution. All right. So roll call. We're going to start with you, um, Mr. Beers. Yes. 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 You have to 
call names. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm calling. Let's call their names. Okay. And record it individually. Go ahead. Beers. Yes. Whipperfirth. Yes. Pear. Yes. Um, Seidel. Yes. Miller. Yes. I need to know if that Carl's not. And West Paul is not present. Okay. And Ricks is not present. Oh, and Ricks is not present. Thank you. It's okay. You're doing fine. Okay. All right. Next. You ready? Number two, be it resolved by the school board of the school district of Lodi, Columbia, and Dane counties, Wisconsin, that there shall be issued pursuant to chapter 67 of the Wisconsin statutes, general obligation bonds in the amount not to exceed 22 million for the public purpose of paying the cost of a school building and improvement program consisting of the construction and equipping of a new primary school the acquisition of land for the school building site, site improvements, remodeling and renovations at the existing middle school and high school, safety and security improvements at district school sites, and capital maintenance, repairs, and improvements at the existing district office. I will second that motion. Beers, pair. Okay, we're going to do a roll call um, again, starting with Beers. Yes. Whipperfirth? Yes. Pear? Yes. Seidler? Yes. Miller? Yes. Noting Westfall is not present. Edwards. Edwards. So the motion carries five to zero. All right. So Initial resolution number two, be it resolved by the school board of the school district of Lodi, Columbia and Dane counties, Wisconsin, that there shall be issued pursuant to chapter 67 of the Wisconsin statutes, general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $9 million for the public purpose of paying the cost of a school improvement program at the high school consisting of constructing a new gymnasium expanding the wrestling room, adding a new weight physical education room, make site improvements, and acquiring related equipment. Second. Beers, Whipperfirth. Roll call vote. Beers? Yes. Whipperfirth? Yes. Pear? Yes. Seidler? No. Um, and Miller, yes. And noting that um, Mr. Ricks and Mr. Westfall are not present. So that motion carries four to one. All right. Now the next resolution is the large one, which is to um, providing for a, a referendum election on the questions of the approval of these three resolutions. Find that larger one. I think that's the one you started out with originally. Right. Mr. And, and the question, and now I'll ask the question that I had back then when thinking this was the first one. Do I read all the way through section 7 DPI notice? Exactly. Okay. You read the entire thing okay. into the record. Is that yeah, it's okay? Yeah, we're we're fine. Fine. Go ahead if you want to. Okay. Whereas the school board of the school district of Lodi, Columbia, and Dane counties, Wisconsin, the district, has heretofore duly adopted resolutions entitled Resolution Authorizing the School District Budget to Exceed Resolu Revenue Limit by $1,700,000 for five years for non-recurring purposes, hereafter referred to as the Revenue Limit Resolution. Initial resolution number one, authorizing general obligation bonds in an amount not to exceed $22 million, and initial resolution number two, authorizing general obligation bonds in amount not to exceed $9 million, collectively the initial, the initial resolutions, and whereas the school board deems it to be desirable and the best interest of the district to direct the district clerk to submit the questions approved 
in the revenue limit resolution and the initial resolutions to the electors for approval or rejection at the regularly scheduled election to be held on November 8, 2016. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the school board of the district as follows. Section 1, referendum election date. The district clerk is hereby directed to call a referendum election to be held in the district at the regularly scheduled election to be held on November 8, 2016 for the purpose of submitting to the qualified electors of the district the propositions of whether the revenue limit resolution and initial resolution shall be approved. Section 2, notice to electors. The district clerk is directed to give notice by A, causing a notice to electors in su substantially the form attached hereto as Exhibit A to be published in the Lodi Enterprise within 10 days after the date hereof. B, causing a notice of election in substantially the form attached hereto as Exhibit B to be published in the Lodi Enterprise the issue published immediately prior to the fourth Tuesday before the referendum election. C, causing a notice of referendum, which includes the facsimile of the sample ballot in substantially the form attached here to as Exhibit C, to be published in the Lodi Enterprise in the issue published immediately preceding the referendum election. This notice shall also so be posted in each polling place on election day. If any of the municipalities within the district use an electronic voting system employing a ballot label and ballot card, the notice of referendum set forth in Exhibit C shall also, be include, shall also include a true actual size copy of the ballot label and ballot form in the form in which they will appear on election day. Section 3, polling places and hours. The district <coughs> electors must vote at the referendum election at the times and polling places in which, at which they cast their ballots in regularly scheduled elections. Section 4, referendum election officials. The election officials appointed in each of the municipalities within the district shall conduct the election. Section 5, official referendum ballot form. The ballot to be used at the referendum election shall be prepared in accordance with the provisions of section 5.64 parenthesis 2 parenthesis and 7.08 parenthesis 1 parenthesis A Wisconsin statutes. The ballot shall be substantially in the form attached hereto as exhibit D. The district color shall cause to be printed sufficient ballots for use at said referendum election, both as actual ballots in those polling places which do not use voting machines and as absentee ballots when, where voting machines are used and as specimen ballots, the latter to be of different and easily identified color from the actual ballot. The form of the ballot shall be filled with the official response official responsible for providing the ballots for the election and the district clerk shall file a copy of the ballot with the clerk of each county having territory within the district as soon as possible after the date hereof but in no event later than 70 days prior to the election as provided in section 837 8.37 Wisconsin statutes if the district prepares the ballot they should be delivered to the municipal clerks running the election at least 52 days prior to the election, they, they allow the municipal clerks to comply with their obligation to provide absentee ballots under Section 7.15 Wisconsin statutes. The municipal clerks of the municipalities within the district shall receive applications for absentee ballots and initial the same when issued to qualified absentee voters. Section 6, Canvas. The returns of the referendum election shall be canvassed by the Board of Canvassers of each municipality within the district. Each Board of Canvassers 
shall certify the returns of the referendum election to the district clerk. The district clerk and two other reputable citizens appointed by the district clerk prior to the date of the referendum election shall act as the district board, as the district's board of canvassers for this referendum election. This board of canvassers shall meet in open session no later than 9 a.m. on Tuesday after the election to determine the result of the referendum election. The canvas shall be open to the public and the district clerk is directed to give due notice of said meetings. Section 7, DPI notice. Pursuant to the provisions of section 121.91 parenthesis 3 and 120 Point one one five parenthesis one Wisconsin statute. The district clerk shall notify the Department of Public Instruction of the date of the referendum election and provide the department with copies of the referendum limit resolution and initial resolutions within ten days after the adoption of the revenue limit revenue limit resolution and initial resolutions and shall further notify the department of the results of the referendum within 10 days following the election using the method prescribed by the department. Second. Beers Whipper first. We'll do um, another roll call vote. Beers? Yes. Whipper first? Yes. Westfall? Yes. Hare? Seidler? Yes. Make note that Mr. Westfall has arrived. Mr. Westfall also arrived at um, 5.50, and um, Mr. Ricks is not present, and I vote um, yes also. So that motion carries 6 to 0. Those are all the actions that you need to take relative to the resolutions. Accepted. We'll have to get signatures from the clerk scope of engagement services with um, Portals and Brady um, so that they will walk us through to make sure that these legal um, steps are taken correctly. Okay, next item on the agenda is pool of staffing. We have two um, social studies teacher and a crew. Um, position. So I'll make a motion to approve the employment of Crew from the employment of Emma Neumeyer and uh, the recommend, uh, and also the employment of Andrea, Andrea Kirschbaum. Uh, also, oh, for the eighth grade social studies teacher. Second. Beers were preferred. All, um, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Motion carries six to zero. Next, we have a fundraiser request, FFA Scoopy Night. Motion to approve FFA Scoopy Night. Second. Would prefer if Westfall discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Can I just ask for clarification? I forgot to ask for discussion. Sorry. It's okay. I'm, this is not about the voting. It's not about the I just want to know the name of the advisor. That's the new person we hired. Yes. Emma, Emma has her. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, all in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Motion carries um, six to zero. Just a couple of clarification things. Um, the approval of the uh, most, the scope of engagement. 
you should take action to approve that. So the floor is in where you can walk you through the rest of the steps relative to what you outlined in the last resolution. If someone wants to make that motion. I'm looking for it. Don't find it. Yeah, I'm going to read it first. It's in, it's in the, how many pages are on here? I don't know. It's one page. The, the letter is just. You have it over there, Marie. Can you just bring it up so that they oh, can see it? Oh, I'm sorry. It just makes it easier if it's up on the screen. Yeah. Right. There it is. Well, they, will, they have to prepare the proceedings, which they've done. Um, the necessary election notices, the ballot forms. Um, they will outline the campaign practices to make sure that uh, not only the board, but any staff member that's part of the district knows exactly what you can and what you can't do. Um, and then the checklist in terms of walking through with Marine and I, uh, which we did obviously today before the meeting, um, and then prepare um, the materials for board canvassers, and then the final certificate, which um, provides for the results of the referendum once completed in November. So you're, you're asking for a motion to? Just a motion to approve the letter of engagement or the scope okay. of engagement. Mm -hmm. And Shelly, you're going to second that? Correct. Okay, so it's um, Seidler, um, Fair, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Motion carries 6 to 0. Just a couple of announcements. Obviously, morning breakfast um, on Monday. Just to remind everybody if you're going to let me know before you leave tonight if you're going to be there. Um, the, we, a couple of things that we'll have to consider going forward. One is um, how do you want to proceed relative to a general contractor? There are a couple of different methods. I do have it on the agenda for both the finance and the facility committee, and it'll come back to the board um, at the September meeting um, to discussing when and how you might want to bring a general contractor into the planning process um, should a referendum pass, and that they can discuss and bring a recommendation back to you. Um, one other thing, just kind of cursory, which you can think about, and we can talk about it at a later point in time, but a lot of um, municipalities, a lot of school boards start their meetings with a Pledge of Allegiance, and it's something that uh, hasn't been done here, um, but something that I'm just throwing out if you'd like to consider that or think about it, um, we can add it to a discussion point at a future meeting. Otherwise, um, you have accomplished everything that you set out to do tonight, and someone bring that up, Chuck? Did someone bring that up to your attention? Um, you no, know, it's just been, well, it's been brought up um, because they use it at like, board meetings, uh, town meetings, um, county board meetings, etc. They just start their meetings with the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, it's never been done here. I just throw it out from the standpoint that you can have that discussion at a later point in time. Not that I'm asking for any discussion of it, but just pointing out a couple of interesting things that have come my direction for future reference. Otherwise, as far as action and uh, agenda, you've accomplished it. So 